Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hello, hi, I'm Katie and today, as if you haven't already guessed from the title, we are doing a hair styling tutorial. I've got two amazing tools to try out from Insert Name Here and it's not a brand I've ever tried before so I'm really, really excited to try them. I am normally, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the brand names but we all know the straightener I'm thinking about and that is the straightener I've had for the last 10 years. It is on its way out. So as soon as these guys reached out to me, I was like, yes, please, because my straightener is about to die. So I'm hoping this is the new one to replace it. I have to just say initially, like how freaking funky is this? If I can get into it, right there. It's like the Barbie, <laughs> Barbie one. I was literally like, I have to pick it. It's like my inner child coming out. Like how? beautiful is this so i've done a little um like really good cleanse on my hair this morning i've done hair mask i've done hair oil wash you know conditioner all of the shebang i'm just gonna blow dry it now with my um blow dry brush and then i'm gonna go in with the straightener and that's what we're gonna try first and then the second part of the video i'm also going to try the xl curls i've been looking for a fat tong like this wand for a long time so i'm more excited to try this on the other straighteners however like i said i really need a straightener this also says two in one so it says you can curl your hair with straighteners too i normally do curl my hair with straighteners um like on my lazy days like if i can't be bothered to blow dry it then straighten it because i've got clearly naturally curly hair and then curl it with a tongue um I find the days with the straighteners just so easy just to like literally curl it down so we're gonna do a little tutorial of both let me know in the comments which one you like the best and let's just get straight in okay so I've roughly blow dried my hair opened the box and just pre-worn anyone from the UK this is not a UK plug so I need to get an adapter from my mum's house so we shall resume this video tomorrow See you then. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with, this arrived this morning, so again, I've not even tried this either. So like a heat protection spray, which I've been making sure I really use a lot of, because I've got to look after your, got to look after your locks, loves. Um, okay, I feel like that's quite well protected. Um, that was amazing. This was really, really nice. Okay, it's a Philip Kingsley one that just came in the PR package this morning. Um, so yeah, I normally do use the, the Bondi Boost one. Okay, so uh, my hair naturally, in case you are new here, is naturally very curly. It's like this ringlet here at the bottom all over. So I've blow dried my hair to get it in this state. And then this is like a few days old hair. I always feel like a few day old hair always lasts a bit better. So I'm going to start off by sectioning my hair, as always. And the first one I'm going to share with you is going to be the straightener. I'm going to do a full straighten um, first. Then I'm going to go in with the curls. And then I'm going to show you how I curl with the straightener. Because obviously there's a lot of styles we can do with, the, with them. So I'm just going to talk you through a few of them and... And let's see how we get on. So, if you are a UK gal like me, you will need to buy a adapter for this, which is why it took me a little bit longer. It's an American plug, so it is American to UK adapter. Really easy, turn it online on Amazon, my fave. Um, and then on the side of here, we've got a on button and some heat up and down buttons. So in the instructions, it actually does tell you what temperature to do it, like, depending on your hair type. And because I've got curly frizzy hair, it says um, 360 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I'm gonna put it on the 360, I'll obviously try and do it the lower, but I'm assuming they think, because my hair's thick, that it needs that bit more heat, but that does dry out curly hair. So let's just brush it out and see how we get on. So as you can see in the box, these are three styles of hair you can do with the straightener alone, which I think is amazing because, because I've got curly hair naturally, I've got to say it also does come with like one of these heat guard things. I never bloody use them and I was a bit myself, but I'll never learn. Um, because I've got curly hair naturally, I feel, I feel like when you do it with a straightener, you just need that one tool. It's epic. 
um, because I'm just waiting for the heat to reach its heat. Look at that. Um, obviously, I get these curly bits at the top, so I have to like straighten to curl um, to get that like nice smooth finish. It's pretty much impossible to to, to do my hair without a straightener so this i'm hoping is going to be absolutely fantastic but i also love the way it looks like on a big barrel curl i love that like soft wave finish look so yeah i'm excited to see how that one goes as well okay how we got up to temperature we have so i start by just sectioning the hair really really simple um go in at the top and i feel like do i need to use this a certain way I'm not sure let's just see Hey, what's warming me up right now because I'm frozen. I'm about done with the uh, winter in the UK here. I mean, I feel like everyone knows how to straighten their hair, but <laughs> I just want to show you <laughs> how nice and sleek it gets. That is really straight and sleek, isn't it? And that's not even on the hottest one. Wow! We say I look really nice, actually. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't want to put it on the hottest, so that's on the three, seven setting okay moving on to another section so i literally do three sections when i do my hair I do the back underneath section and then the top has two layers because i don't have the thickest hair and then i section those bits into their own sections as well um just like working down and through to the top so like really sort of super simple it just ensures that you get like all of the the bits you know what i mean I just said that. I hate. I hate it when people say, "Do you know what I mean?" I just said it. I've become. I've become that person. But it's not. I'm actually just listening to a really interesting podcast. If you guys don't listen to Stephen Bartlett's podcast, The Diary of a CEO, like your life is gonna be shit. <laughs> because honestly, every single episode I listen to, like I take something away from, and it enhances my life. And yeah, you just need to listen to it. It's just so good. I think you can get it on like Spotify and YouTube, Apple Music, but it's just every single episode I just love. I just love. So I'm actually just listening to that while I'm doing my hair. I quite often put a podcast on when I'm getting ready, especially on my shoot days. I feel like really inspired after them. If it's a bit of a grey day outside, if you're having a bit of a day, it's just, just something nice to do. So I'm going to like you definitely can straighten this into a curl as well so i'm probably gonna do that in a second the underneath was just really needing like a bit of a straighten first so that's kind of like i've not done this front bit but that's kind of like the how lovely and straight it makes it but i think i'm gonna actually go in with a curl now because it's kind of like the base work is done okay and we're gonna curl it so I've sectioned it into two sections and then I'm just going to pick up, like I tend to do a little bit thicker. I don't like lots and lots and lots of tight curls. Ooh. Stunning. Stunning. Look at them curls. Stunning. This is actually how I used to curl my hair. But I've never had like straighteners that are designed to curl your hair with before. So that's really nice. It does really help them have like a sleek, they, they just glide through the straightener really nicely. Woo -hoo -hoo. And obviously I'm just going to repeat that all over my hair. Okay, so to the bottom layer. Um, and I think it looks really beautiful. And then the trick is to leave all of the hair, like don't brush through them, don't fiddle with them, just like let them set. If, you want, if your hair doesn't tend to last, you could like wrap it up and pin it like a pin curl, but mine does tend to last, so I don't bother doing that. Plus, I'm far too low maintenance for that shit. <laughs> but if you are wanting it to last, that's a good tip and trick. And then I'm literally sectioning it into those three, like I said earlier, um, and then a mini section on this side to do the curls a little bit more. This is a really easy, quick way to curl your hair if you're short on time because it's just with one tool. It's really, really great. So, I also used a new shampoo and conditioner this week. Um, it's like an anti-frizz one. And I have to say, it's like the sleekest I've ever seen in my hair. 
So it definitely worked. If you guys have frizzy hair, let me know in the comments if you want to know what it is. Um, because yeah, wow. Never, never really seen my hair this sleek in a long time. So I'm not sure if it's a combination of the shampoo and the straighteners. Probably is. But I am enjoying it. Okay, one side done. And like I said, I'm not going to touch it yet. I'm not going to brush through it. I'm not going to pull it out. Don't worry if the curls look a little bit tight. Um, but it will come together in a minute. Okay, so this is the finished curl. And now, ideally, obviously, I had to do my makeup before seeing you beautiful people because... I'm very confident actually without my makeup on, but I just did it that way today. Normally I do my hair first, then my makeup. So what I would say is you leave that then for 10 to 15 minutes while you're doing your makeup or other things, whatever you want to do. After that time has passed, you need a nice fine tooth comb like this. You can use your fingers. I did for quite a while and it was fine. Um, and just softly brush through the curl. So I'm just going to wait 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna go and set up actually for filming this afternoon. I'll be back to brush them out. I'm back and I'm gonna brush through the curls. Obviously, if you're a hairspray kind of girl, definitely hairspray. I'm not, so I'm not hairspraying. So literally, like just turns it into the most perfect curl. And I've forgotten how much longer your hair is when you just curl it with a straightener. It always looks really short when I actually tongue it. Oh, that looks lush. And then just finish it off with a little bit of hair oil in the ends. Obviously, if any of it has dropped a little bit, um, you can just top it back up really easily. But, oof, oof. I'm happy with that. That's, look, look at that. Very happy. That's, that's a really nice finish. <laughs> I always feel like I could never get these two bangs even. It's something I'm working on. <laughs> this one always seems to have a world of its own and this one always seems to just slip slightly down. I think I need to trim them. They're a little bit too long. That's the problem. But whenever I trim them myself, I will smudge them up. So that, yes. A little bit of hair oil in the end. And that is the finished look. And then I'm gonna be back tomorrow actually with tomorrow's hair curling with the wand. So.